Capricorn, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empatero, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we are gonna be pulling some messages that are gonna help uncover any abundance blocks you may be experiencing at this time. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your life or a specific person, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below. Along with my husband. If you have not yet, you've got to check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we're going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now let us dive right in because right now we can see here that their expansion is needed. And we can see here that you're frustrated on the progression so far of your, um, of your manifestations. Now it's because there needs to be a mindset shift. Okay. Before we dive into that, we're going to jump right into your affirmation. Write this down in the comments below. Let the universe know that you are ready. I am worthy of making more money. I I am worthy of making more money. Write this down. Let the universe know. Say it out loud as you type it out. I am worthy of making more money. If you would like to cultivate more love, then you can switch that around. Say, I am worthy of attracting love or more love. It's whatever you are feeling called and guided towards at this time. But what we can see here is that again, there's frustration and it's because there needs to be an internal shift, a mindset shift with that tower in reverse. Okay. So you got to understand something, right? We are only able to attract in the degree of abundance uh, from what we're energetically open to, okay? Now, if you are not um, aligning your choices with the outcome of your intentions, you're essentially saying, I'm not ready, okay, to the universe. I'm not ready. Meaning that if there are vices that you have in your life, Capricorn, uh, eat, emotional eating, uh, alcohol, drugs, right? If you have these vices, uh, shopping, gambling, um, but eating is a big one, right? Can't get away from it, food's everywhere, right? If you're emotionally eating, drinking, or using drugs, right? You're basically telling the universe, I can't handle life. I, 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 I'm uncomfortable and I am, um, I am, I'm, I'm pleasing myself to feel better with these substances. You're keeping yourself on this timeline. Okay. You're saying to the universe, I'm not ready for more because I can't even handle where I'm at. Okay. That's what you're saying to the universe. Now, in order to expand and evolve through this, right? First of all, you've got to unlearn everything that you've learned because it's tripping you up. Okay. It's time for a beginner's mindset. So, because we want you to understand that the const the conscious stream of universal guidance is, um, is, 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 is always flowing through you. But when you are blocked, right? When you are angry, when you're frustrated, when you're emotional, right? You're blocking off this conscious stream and you're feeling like you got to be the one to make the decisions, but that's very exhausting. It's very tiring and it's very limiting. It's also very, it leaves us in a place of self doubt, right? And it leaves us feeling very frustrated, right? Because we're not receiving this flow. So what we want you to do is this, because we can see here that there is um, some trouble in paradise, okay? We can see that there is a disconnection between you and a loved one. Uh, there's not a, uh, there's no partnership happening. There's no evolution happening, uh, you know, uh, and, and ultimately the, the romance has died, okay? The passion has died. No problem, doesn't matter. What needs to happen is the romance back with yourself. So what we want you to do is uh, have this morning routine, okay? This morning routine, routine is the exact routine that I have been practicing for years. It's what got me from my low self-esteem, low uh, uh, confidence, same thing, limiting belief, uh, uh, you know, using vices to make me feel better, right? From that version of myself to where I am today, where abundance is flowing, I'm, I'm, I love who I am, I'm of service to the universe, fully connected. This is the journey that, that these are the steps that I took, right? So it's very simple. You wake up early. You're waking up early to let the universe know I am leaving the comfort of my bed to serve, right? I'm here. I am ready. You're letting the universe know by waking up early. I wake up at 2 a.m., right? It's an early wake up. You wake up early to serve. Now there's this beautiful kind of magical hour of 3.40 in the morning, right? Around 3.40. So this is kind of the time you want to be open, ready for it. So you don't just want to be waking up at 3.40 because then you're going to miss it, right? You want to be up and ready to go taking notes or wherever the universe is going to guide you at that time. So wake up whatever time, maybe it's three, maybe it's two, maybe it's two, three, whatever you choose, but wake up early. It's an offering, right? It's an offering to the universe saying, I am ready for more, right? I'm here. Number two is you work out. This is non-negotiable because what not working out does, right? Is it clears your energy and it raises your frequency. If your frequency is not raised, good luck. You're going to get lost in the low frequencies. And you're going to make all these choices from a low frequency place. You're not going to want to better yourself. So you wake up and you work out. It doesn't matter what you're doing in life. I used to wake I used to have to work at 5.30 in the morning. So what did I do? I wake up at four, wake up at three. Right now I wake up at two, right? Seems outrageous if you're not used to it, but it's not outrageous if you get yourself used to it, right? Implement new habits, non-negotiable habits. Wake up early, you work out right away. Raise your frequency. 
frequency and then you cultivate a gratitude practice. Non-negotiable, you gotta get into the state of gratitude in order to receive universal guidance. So it's a non-negotiable. These are non-negotiable habits. You wake up early, you work out, and you connect to the universe. That way, you are always guided and you are on purpose. We can see here that you are not un you are unable to hear and listen to the conscious stream of guidance that's flowing through you, right? Your intuition, conscious uh, uh, guidance, right? Because you need to practice more solitude, okay? Being with yourself, spending time with yourself, okay? And really truly recognizing, uh, you know, what you want to do and taking action on those things, right? And that's going to implement the change that you're seeking. But right now we feel like you're lost in the matrix, right? You're lost in the matrix and it's hindering your relationships because it does. When we are disconnected from our truth, our relationships suffer. Our abundance suffers, our money suffers because we are not taking action on the things that we know we have to do. We have to work out, we have to wake up early and we have to uh, practice gratitude. Have to. Non-negotiables, right? If you wait to work out in the afternoon, you're going to feel like crap all day because all day you're going to be thinking about, I have to work out, right? You got to get it done. You got to raise that frequency, right? So the first step is eliminating vices, right? So Spirit's message is for you today. You eliminate your vices. You check it out, right? You be aware of it. Am I eating because I'm bored? Am I eating because I'm emotional? Am I eating because I'm unhappy? If you make that choice, you will not reach the abundance that is readily available for you, right? If you are using drugs or alcohol, to enhance your relationship or your life, it means you're escaping reality. It means the reality that you have, you've created, isn't a happy one. But you don't wanna escape reality because then you're not creating reality, right? In order to create the reality that you want, you gotta make sure that you are taking action and creating a life of purpose. Now, if you don't know what that purpose is for you, right, and you're looking to expand your life and get to the next step, which we can see here is, is necessary, then again, as above, so below. You got to connect to above. You got to report above, not report to your wife or your husband, not report to your kids, not report to your boss or your coworkers or your friends. You report above. Spirit, universe, where am I best served? How may I best serve, right? That's what it's about. And you're not going to be able to serve unless you're feeling good, right? So that's why we wake up and that's why we work out. And that's why we practice gratitude so that we are ready to serve, to be guided, to be initiated. It's the initiating process, initiation process, right? Is that working out? The thing is Capricorn is your power and your ability to manifest the life you want is so incredibly strong. With this anger card, it's meaning that you have this intense passion and power within yourself, right? You probably notice it, right? You ever, do you ever feel like you, you just react, like you can't hold back, you can't stop yourself, you're just reacting, it just, and it gets you into trouble sometimes, and you feel badly about it, but you just can't help yourself? That's energy, beautiful soul, that's power. But unless harnessed, right, you're a monster, but unless harnessed, that energy is gonna into all kinds of places that aren't gonna serve you, right? So you need to harness your power. Otherwise, you're gonna be walking around a lesser form of who you really are and it will feel inauthentic to you. It will feel disconnected from your truth, right? Because you're like, well, yeah, I feel all these amazing things and I feel like I could be this person, but I'm not. Okay, well, that's because you haven't practiced and cultivated uh, a schedule that really aligns you with your truth and that's why there's resistance. That's why there's abundance blocks, right? Not enough recognizing that voice and taking action from that voice, right? You're getting caught up in, in the past, getting caught up in, in the thoughts, right? You gotta let all of that go, right? You gotta recognize that right now is a time to understand you've got to eliminate the vices, okay? You gotta recognize when you're emotionally taking doing something, because it won't serve you, it won't help you, right? And you have got to create your best self as an offering. Capricorn, growing up, who do you wish you had in your life? Imagine you had someone in your life that was confident, that was sexy, that was knowledgeable, that was safe, that was, uh, you know, welcoming nurturing, right? All these things that we know we want, right? We might be embarrassed to say, but that's it. That's what we all want, right? Be that for yourself. Because if you show up every day with the intention of being your best self, mind, body, and spirit, guess what you tell universe? You say, universe, I am ready for what you throw at me. And I'm ready for a lot because I have I have become the best version of myself that I can take on a lot. But basically, if you're not showing up for your life every single day, right? If you're not pushing through that adversity and 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 understanding that adverse adversity is what introduces a, a person to themselves, right? Understanding that through adversity you understand who you really are, right? And how are you gonna handle that adversity? Right? Are you gonna react? Right? Are you gonna be rude? Are you going to eat? Are you gonna drink? Are you gonna use drugs? How are you gonna handle that adversity? Because that's what, how you let the universe know whether you're ready or not, 
right? And so it's super important to recognize that the only thing that you have to do, your purpose, okay, is to be ready for all things, okay? And the only way that we feel like we bring value and our egos are not so big we don't do that is when we recognize that we are just a small part of a bigger picture. And that is from reporting above instead of reporting to the people on this planet, right? It, it won't serve you to do that. Your angel message today is acceptance. And this card says, see yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone to their highest potential. Cap, the abundance that you deserve and you are worthy of is waiting for you. And all it takes right now is a few lifestyle choices that align you with the outcome that you want. Every time you reach for that food that you know isn't going to serve you, every time you speak that, that negative thought or you, you doubt yourself, right? You are paying karmic debt, meaning you are taking your, it, it's going to take longer for you to get to where you want to go, right? But the more you wake up with an intention and purpose and every choice you make is with an intention to fulfill something. That's why we wake up early. The intention is the offering. That's why we work out. The intention is to raise our frequency. That's why we practice gratitude. The intention is to connect to the universe, right? We feel good with the intention of being our best selves in the world. When we show up and be our best selves and say, universe, I'm ready. Universe says, oh, Capricorn's listening. Let's, let's bring them more abundance. Let's bring them more challenges for them to overcome, to believe in themselves more, feel that worthiness, service more, and they reach more abundance. More money, more problems. Problems don't go away, right? The adversity is always going to be there, but it's how you overcome it. It's how you face it is what the challenge is. And that's, that's what that's what allows us to grow, you see. So if you're feeling lackluster, if you're feeling like it's time for change, it might be time to seek out a mentor or take a course, learn a new skill, right, to, to get the juices flowing again. But the very first step that you can do is you wake up in the morning with the intention of early, right? It's, it's a challenge and you work out, right? And you practice gratitude. It's your first three steps. And then just wait and see how everything else unfolds. But right now, connection to your higher self is what's required in order for you to unlock those abundance blocks. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.